Hey guys, it's Julie, uh, back with another video. Um, I am procrastinating on the buttons, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, show my album that I have of my Witch's Moon artwork that I talked about. Um, I have to put those two pages away I got from them uh, a couple days ago when I did the unboxing. Um, I'll link that below in case you uh, missed it. So um, I'll just, uh, and then I'm just going to share a crystal just to kind of get into the mode of, of sharing what I've learned about crystals um, because I, I really truly believe that like sharing that information and stuff is is really important. Um, I have, I lit my heart chakra candle this morning because it just sounded good. So I kind of decided to go with that theme. So um, this is my um, Aura Flower Agate, which is a self-love and new beginning stone. Um, that is from Practical Magic. Um, as well as the candle. Um, I'll share this first. We just got this and I'm so excited. It's a Sisters of the Moon stamp. You can kind of see the, they engrave it on the top and then we have our own stamp. I know it's like backwards, but really excited about that. And then I brought this up. This is green opal. It has dendrites in it, iron, um, green opal. So heart chakra is, uh, corresponds with the color green. Um, and dendritic opal is specifically, or green dendritic opal is specifically, um, made for healing trauma. So it's a really good stone to have around. Um, we've all, I'm sure suffered various traumas, especially over the last couple of years. Um, you know, we've dealt with the loss of our sister, um, other things that have been hard. So this, um, I move my stuff around throughout, you know, the, the seasons. And I just moved this onto my main working altar, um, just the other day. And so it kind of seemed like a good, it's got a little druzy cave. These black markings are the dendrites. And they kind of grow almost like little tiny plants. Let me see if I turn this off if you can see better. It's got a little agate pocket there. There's a really good example of the dendrites. They look like little plants to me. Another little druzy cave here. So yeah, um, it's in the, the shape of a what they call a flame. They're pretty fun. Um, so yeah, this is a really great stone specifically for healing traumas. Um, it's a very gentle, uh, calm stone. Um, finishing my morning coffee. Okay, so I don't know if this is even going to fit all the way in the screen. I got this in an auction with several other super cool pieces. There's like a terracotta goddess. Um, I, when I saw this, nobody bid on it but me. I just, I couldn't even believe it. It's, it, I think it's leather. Look at these goddesses. So, and it was cool because I had just started my Witch's Moon subscription. I knew I needed an album to put them in, but I didn't think I'd ever find anything worthy of them. But this definitely is one of those things that you just can't believe you found. So this is the inside. It was brand new when I got it. I don't know how old it is. Um, I have 
Um, this is a print I got on Etsy. Um, just a witch's circle, so that's on the inside. I'll go ahead and show you show what I have, and then I'll put the two new pieces in. So I kind of skip a couple pages here and there, just um, and I can explain to you more uh, in a sec. Um, so um, we get a lot of these little sort of um, spell prayer type pieces from them. So those, I also put those in here and then I have a um, spot where I keep the tarot cards I got. So this is the witch's bell. It talks about the different ways you can use a bell to clear energy, to summon different things. I found this really cool. Um, and then this bell here, we actually got a handmade replica of this was our large gift in that one. So really cool. Okay, so this is the Keeper of the Keys. So this is devoted to Hecate. Um, her picture would go here. This is why the spot is empty. Um, I'm leaving it open just because I want to have it in case. But I have her piece framed on my wall, the big piece. Um, it's, yeah, I love it. So it may never go in here, but she has her space open just in case. Um, same thing with um, the stat. Uh, um, we got a really big statue of her as our big gift in that one. And... Um, we have an Egyptian altar downstairs, so that's where um, the statue and the art is, but it's still open for her. Um, and then this one, To Weave a Wish. I hope I'm getting all of this in the frame. Um, and this came with a piece of macrame that hangs on my wall behind me. All this art is done by one guy. Um, here's another one of those little, um, I don't know, maybe they're like manifestation spells, I guess, most of the time. Um, and then they did, it's funny because we just got a wind one, so I'm hoping that a page is open nearby, but they did the four winds. So this was the, the, I put them on my altar usually when I get them. So here's the north and south. So this one came with all five of these. So that's what I mean when I say sometimes you get a ton. And then here's east and west. And it talks about, you know, the different zodiac signs that fall under them and different things um this was Gaia what did we get what was the I cannot remember what the big gift was for this but I thought that was a really awesome art drawing very very colorful awesome snake a lot of their stuff tends to be like more um earthy and and stuff which I really like um so this is Nyx, and during Maybon, I put this piece on my Persephone altar, and sometimes I move Hecate um, to my Persephone altar for when she descends during Maybon. Um, I just feel like they're all homies. Um, <laughs> so I got a Medusa thing which my 10 year old promptly wanted so she has the large art and the bronze medusa head in her room but this is the piece that went with it okay and then i'm i skip a few pages here and there just to leave room for like more goddesses in the back i have like a, a wheel of the year section so i kind of try to leave them open a little bit so when i get other pieces i'm not I don't know, I'm a Virgo and I way over organize things. Okay, so this section is stones. They did like two months of stones. I shared that quartz I got, it was during this time. Um, so hematite, uh, in this second advanced 
crystal healing class that I t have currently in. Today is our, our last class, which is sad. And then there's only one class left. Um, we talked about hematite a lot and how incredibly important it is for us. Majorly grounding. It works with so many different... It Take a minute and Google hematite. Um, yeah, I, I've really been loving it a lot because it's not that I didn't like it. I just wasn't one of those that I went for um, right away. Smoky Quartz, which is cool. Um, I have a really big sphere that I love that I got from Practical Magic. We've used that in a couple photo shoots. Obsidian and Black Tourmaline. Um, and then uh, one month it was gold and silver too. So they did the metals. And then I think that was the one where I got my Scott Cunningham uh, crystal book, which uh, is one of the things I use for information. Um, I go to Practical Magic for information. I like crystal vaults. They are great. Um, they go down, they actually talk about the mineralogy, which I really appreciate knowing. Um, all the way down to what chakras and keywords are connected to it. So they're really great. And then I love my Silver Raven Wolf's book still. And then that um, Scott Cunningham Stones and Metals book that they did. It's great. Um, cord cutting. Super important. Um, we just have to make sure that we are, you are ready to cut that cord. Um, if you ever have any questions about stuff I talk about, feel free to ask below. I don't mind talking about it. Okay, so this is the moon section. This is honeymoon, which, um, harvest moon, which is one of my favorite times of year. I'm sure yours as well. Storm moon. The flower moon I just got will go here. And then I skipped quite a bit. This book is huge, right? And then in the very back, I did all of the, I did all of the um, Wheel of the Year pieces. So we've got Harvest Home. So this goes up with Persephone um, when I'm changing my altars over um, in bulk. And then this is like, uh, I think this one was, is like intended for right after Christmas. Yule, um, another Yule piece, and then this is a large Yule that we got. I think I got this one this year, and it's just so beautiful. Like, got the oranges, cranberries, mistletoe, we got, and then the cup. Oh my goodness, the cup, it was about tea reading. It is adorable. So this is the gift we got with that. Okay, so... To put these in, and yes, they fight with me a little bit sometimes, um, I use little, um, I use these guys, and they're supposed to not, not harm the book that you put them in. So that is why I use them, just because this book is beautiful. I don't want it to get messed up. Okay, so here, maybe you can see this better now because I don't have it in the cellophane packaging. Here is the piece that I just unboxed without a glare. So I tend to put the corners on like so. What, what sweetie? I totally can, yes. Really? Yeah. Do you want to yeah. say hi? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. This is Elena. Of course, I picked like the hardest page to put it on. Maybe we'll just do it on this side. Okay, so I'll start with two. Can you see? Try to get it straight. Okay. 
and then we do the tops or the other side, I guess. I always tend to shake when I shouldn't. <laughs> moments like this where I could like totally mess something up so that's not perfect but it's okay and then let's find that wind section and we can put that other piece in yeah see they come out a little bit but for the most part this has been a pretty good system Okay, so that there is no space, which is wait, just one second. So let's see, maybe they're, I, I feel like they're gonna start an elemental series. So maybe we'll leave, put it there. And then there's one, two, three, four. So there's plenty of space for the others. second. I'm almost done. Okay. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you. I know I mentioned it that I would a, a while ago and I just adore the witch's moon. I want to get the word out about them because they've given me so much amazing things and and useful things. Like they're always beautiful. They take so much care in making their boxes. They're small business. Like they're really wonderful. So I think that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys all have a rest, good rest of your week. It's almost Friday. Um, and I will get that button video up soon, I promise. Take care. Bye.